How to create pencil in Adobe Illustrator in 5 easy steps. Hello, you're watching TNT Tutorials. If you're absolute zero in drawing and Adobe Illustrator, this tutorial is for you. Each illustration, even the most complicated, created with tools and tips that you will learn right now. So let's begin with creating a new document. Press Ctrl N or go to File, New. You will also see this window when you're only launching your Adobe Illustrator. Go to Print, select A4, choose Horizontal Orientation, go to Advanced Options, in Color Mode, select RGB and click on Create. I've placed this pencil here so you could have a better reference of what we will do. Go to Layers and I will create a new layer. You will have your layer number 1, so simply double click on your layer number 1 and rename it to Pencil. First of all, let me show you tools that we will use today. Today we will need Shape Builder tool, Rectangle tool, Ellipse tool, Pen tool, Direct Selection tool, and Selection tool. We use Direct Selection tool to move and select points, and we use Selection tool to select our objects, move them, and change their proportions. So now let's begin with step number one. Let's create a base shape. We need this color now. Let's go to Fill Color icon, double click here, and pick a color similar to this. Now go for a Rectangle tool. Hold your left mouse button here, if you have Ellipse tool selected, and select Rectangle tool. You can also use shortcut, press M. Now build a rectangle here. Don't worry about proportions, you can build a rectangle like this. Now let's go for a selection tool. You can press V for selection tool. And change proportions like this. So base shape is created. Let's continue with step number 2 and create a pencil tip. Click somewhere on the workspace to deselect this object. Now pick this color. Go to fill color icon, double click here. Select a color similar to this. Go for rectangle tool. And build a rectangle here. Start to build rectangle from this point. Illustrator will help you to snap it. Hold Shift while you're doing this. Now we need to make a triangle of this rectangle. Go for a pen tool. It's over here. Shortcut is P. And click in the middle of this side. By clicking here, you will add a point. To remove this point if you need to, you can click again. So, to add a point, you must have your object selected and click with Pen tool anywhere to add a point. Also click on them again to delete them. So, add a point here, in the middle of this side, and delete these two points. This one and this one here. Now go for Direct Selection tool. It's over here. Shortcut is A. Select this point. Start to move it. And hold Shift. Because without holding Shift, we can go out of axis that we need. We need to move this point straightly. So hold Shift. And move this point as you need. 
Iron stop and something like this. So now let's pick this dark color. But first of all, deselect the subject. Because if you want to deselect the subject and pick a new color, new color will be applied to this object. So deselect it. Go to Fill Color icon. Double click here. Pick some dark color. Go for Rectangle tool. And build a rectangle here. Now go for a selection tool. Shortcut is V. Select these two objects. Just hold your left mouse button, start to move it. And select these objects. Now go for a shape builder tool. It's over here. If you don't see it on your panel, that means that some of these tools are selected. So find it here and select Shape Builder tool. Shortcut is Shift plus M. Now hold Alt and click on this unnecessary part. Now press V for Selection tool and click some on the workspace to deselect these objects. Now it's time for step number 3, creating these stripes. Let's pick orange color, go to Fill Color icon, Double click here, select some orange color, go for rectangle tool, shortcut is M, and build a stripe somewhere here. We will align it now. So don't worry about alignment. Now go for a selection tool, I will press V. And select all the subjects. Now go for a properties panel. It's over here. Go to align and press vertical align center. As you can see, our objects aligned. I will deselect everything by clicking somewhere on the workspace. Now select our stripe. If you have this problem as I have, I need to change these proportions here a little bit. So do the same. Select your object and change proportions. If you need to make the stripe more wide, hold Alt and start to change proportions. Without Alt, you will change proportion only to one side. With Alt, you can do it to both sides. I will undo. I will press Ctrl plus Z. And what we need to do right now? We need to make two copies of this stripe. So hold Alt or Option key on Mac. Start to move your stripe and hold Shift. So we could have Alt plus Shift. A stop when Illustrator helps you to snap in the middle of this object. Now let's do the same but to the other side. Select this object, hold Alt or Option key, start to move your object and hold Shift also. So we can have Alt plus Shift. And stop here. Now we need to delete these unnecessary parts here. Select all the subjects and go for a Shape Builder tool. You can press Shift plus M. Hold Alt and click on this part and on this part. I will press V for Selection tool. Click somewhere on the workspace to deselect the subjects. And let's move with step number 4. Let's create Eraser. Let's go to Fill Color icon and pick yellow color. Go for Rectangle tool, press M and start to build your rectangle from this point. Illustrator will help you to snap. As we build this part, 
Let's press V for selection tool. Click somewhere to deselect this object. And we need to create ellipse now. As you can see, our ellipse has the same color as our stripes. In this case, to pick this color, go for eyedropper tool. Shortcut is I. And click on color that you need. As you can see, we have this color here now. So to build this ellipse, I will zoom in so you could see better. To zoom in, I press Z for zoom tool. I hold my left mouse button and drag my mouse to the right. To zoom out, I will hold my left mouse button and move my mouse to the left. So I will zoom in. And let's pick ellipse tool. Shortcut is L. Start to build your ellipse from this point here. Hold shift while you're doing this, because without shift we will build oval. So we need ellipse, we hold shift. And we drag our ellipse and stop right there, when it snaps bottom part of our base shape layer. And release your left mouse button. So I will show you again how to do this. I will press Ctrl Z to undo. I have my ellipse tool selected. I start to build ellipse from the top part of our base shape layer. Hold Shift. And I stop right there when it snaps bottom part. Now press V for selection tool. Start to move your ellipse to the left and hold shift while you're doing this. Stop when it snaps in the middle of your ellipse. To bring your ellipse down, you can right click on your ellipse, go to arrange and click send to back. Or you can do the same here in your layers panel. Open your pencil layer group. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. We have ellipse here on the top of all objects. And you can simply drag it down. So now I will zoom out. I use hand tool to navigate. To do this, hold space. And now it's time for step number 5. We will create a shadow for our pencil. So I press V for selection tool. Click somewhere on the workspace to deselect this object. And let's pick some dark color now. Double click on fill color icon. Pick dark color. Go for rectangle tool. Or press M. And build a rectangle here. If you need to change proportions of your rectangle, Press V for selection tool and change proportions like this. If you need to be more precise, press Z for zoom tool, zoom in, and then you will be able to change proportions more precisely. So I will zoom out. And let's go to Effect, Blur. Gaussian Blur. In this window, click on Preview. And you can play with this value. I will stop on something like this. We can always change Blur value. So now I will press OK. Go to Properties panel. And let's change Opacity here to something like this. Now go for a selection tool, right click on this object, arrange, send to back. Let's move this object up. You can use your up button on your keyboard. Now try to create this pencil by yourself. And if you had any difficulties or something wasn't clear enough for you, ask me in comments below. I'm very excited to know what you my subscribers would like to watch and learn. So you can also write in comments if you want to see a tutorial about certain object, tool or effect.
Thank you for watching. Press subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video and click on the bell icon if you want to get notifications about new tutorials from TNT. See you in the next videos.